morning guys welcome to a Thursday it's supposed to be scorching hot out we just spent 10 minutes standing in the house deciding which dogs are coming with us everybody's going someplace different and the ones that made the cut are the usual one so uh, Kirby Kirby and Molly are going with Gabby and Sophie to get coffee and Ellie's coming with me this just smells like horse your hair is so cute now your hair probably smells like horse was that a smart I choice shower tonight, oh. anyways when you get back, meet me in the goat barn. So um, I washed Sophie's favorite saddle pad and I watched this fly mask. Ruby's, er, <laughs> Kirby, come here. Water, she does not come to you. Kirby's gonna have a, Kirby. Kirby's gonna have a shock when she realizes that Ellie's here, not Ruby. going. Come here. What is that all about? Do you know what that's about? You have hardly spent any time with her lately. What are you talking about? When dad's trying to get her, she runs to me. It's because I was sitting at my computer and I picked her up and I held her for like three minutes. So she's oh, like, nah. -uh. Because she doesn't want to be held? She's not a hyper dog though. Come on, Ellie. You're not going with them. You're staying with me. Come on, Ellie Belly. Come on. Come on. Oh no. There's a new lot up there. Oh, come on, baby girl. Come on. I know you want to go. Poor Ellie. Come on, Else. Come on. I washed this Ogilvy pad last week, but the pink one looks okay. Ellie. Come on. I'm actually dying to use this fly mask on one of the horses. I like it. It's like a Northern Northern Outfitters, I think it's called. Noble Outfitters. It's a Noble Outfitters and I think I love this one. The only thing I didn't like about it was that the eyeball space is too small and it was rubbing on our horse's eyeballs. But I think we could put it on a smaller horse like Gracie, because this comes off even. I should try it. Do you want to try it on? Oh, this is perfect for you. Come here, come closer. Actually, Gracie has a hundred of these things. She just takes them off. Wait, why isn't it doing that? All right, let's see, what do we do wrong here? I definitely like the smaller ones the best. I find like our I find that all of our horses do the best with them. But I really like this style. It's my favorite out of all the styles. Anyway, I told you guys yesterday that we were supposed to go to a show this weekend. It was gonna be so much fun. And then Lady pulled a shoe, so we can't go. And then I found out that it's supposed to pour rain all weekend. And I'm like, hmm, I guess it's not so bad. I told Sam last night, I've been telling him for a week. The ponies need to stay in at night. I noticed that they all gained a little bit of weight being out 24 seven and the baby is the least bad, but the rest, they have to start staying in at night. So, so he promised me that tonight he would keep all the girls in, all the baby, all these smallest horses in. Only the big ones would go out. Girl, I almost walked by her and she's like, why are you walking by me? Hi, oh, that would be a cute picture. <laughs> Honestly, why well, I wanted to come over here and sit with the goats, but I can't sit anywhere with the goats because then you're here. Come on, Alice, let's go down to the goats. Come on, let's go. Shoot, I just remembered Sam blocked off this gate, so I can't even get through here anymore. Ah. <laughs> I wanted to update you guys on my garden. It is pretty much finished. Usually I don't finish it until like September, but I'm paranoid to dig in here because I have like some spots on my finger that, is, that are missing cuticle and that allows dirt to get in there and bacteria. So I'm just gonna let it go to weeds. I have a few things that I have left to pick. I already picked a few of these um, this morning. This is a cantaloupe. I've got some pumpkins still, a bunch of pumpkins over here. I have a few more zucchinis that are pretty much ready to go. They're just tiny little ones. So I'm just gonna let all that stuff go. Start again fresh next year. I'm going to dig up all this stuff and just get rid of the whole garden this week. 
I should do it now before it rains. I don't think my garden's getting the proper amount of sun. Like it should have at least a good eight hours of sun each day. And I just think where we put it wasn't such a good day. It wasn't such a good spot because as you can see, a lot of my tomatoes are still green and they've been here for a long time. So they're all ripening in the house really, really well. So I think I'm just gonna toss everything. I'm just gonna dig it all up, get rid of it, have everything in the house to green up. I always call Ellie whenever I notice that she's not here. She never makes a sound. She never barks, she never lets me know where she is. She just sits there and stares at me. So I always have to look around to see where she is, but she's in the shade. So I'm just gonna go through here and pick off everything that I have left and get rid of it, get rid of the garden you guys it's done I'm actually really excited about it because I always wait till the end of August actually it's almost the end of August I always wait till actually the end of September and it's always like cold and damp and it's just like not as nice working with it so I'm just gonna go through pick everything that's left and trash this thing and I'll be like ahead of the game So that is what I got picked so far. The girls are confused why I'm picking them green, but if you know, you know. Most times when you get, oftentimes when you get tomatoes in the grocery store, they get them in, they travel to us green, and then they ripen as they travel. The girls are home now, so I'm gonna stop right now, go do some more things, and I'm gonna finish picking all these tomatoes and get all the rest. There's like a ton more that need to be picked, but I'm just gonna put them in a bucket and maybe leave them in the garage or put them someplace nice and cool and let them take their time to ripen. I also want to get Sam to drag it before the season is finished. Usually the season is finished like at the end of August in the middle of September so we're like close to it. Gabby's not scared of goats anymore? Oh Kirby's not scared of goats anymore. That's a new thing you guys. She's still a bit nervous but not bad. She's adapting to everything now. Like she's getting so good. She goes in the horse field now. Ellie's in the pool. I filled these pools this morning. I filled them with fresh, clean water. This morning, they use these pools so much. I'm sure Ellie wants in now, but then she'll try and sneak out. Whew. Anyway, it feels good to be like kind of ahead of the game and getting stuff ready for fall. I love getting stuff ready for fall. I don't like fall, I like summer. Oh, I love fall. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna get Sam to, what? I got the dog's timbits, but I didn't See if the nice. chicken will eat one. No. Yeah, just give me a piece of one for the chicken. Give a piece of Kirby's because. Yeah, Kirby doesn't, and even Ellie doesn't need a whole one. Kirby no, doesn't. we only got two. Well, just give me a little piece of one. The poor chicken. Tell her. Where's Kirby? Here, let me see that. Oh my God. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it, folks. I don't know why I said folks. I've never said that word in my life. <laughs> All right, just wait, just wait. So, look, she says no. So, uh, this is... She's here now. We have a little chicken here. This is this is Mia. Mia's gone broody. This is Mia. Mia's gone broody. So she's got six eggs underneath there, and she's going to hatch them out, hopefully. They're going to all fall out. And they're all just gonna like walk right out and land in the hay. All the little baby what, what chicks. Are you doing? She's she's laying on eggs. Uh, I keep putting little bits of food in there on a napkin for her so she'll eat. I was like, why is there a napkin? And then we have a little piece of a donut in there for her as a treat. But if you guys know about broody chickens, oh, she's gonna eat it. Then you might know that they hardly eat, hardly drink. They just take serious laying on their nest. This is her third time being broody this year. Yeah, and we finally said, fine, you can have some <laughs> eggs. Well, it's because she finally went broody in a good spot. She did, she finally went broody in a good spot. So we said, fine, you can stay in there and hatch out some eggs. And we have 12 eggs in the incubator. We do egg hatching differently too. We like 
most people hatch their eggs for the spring because people buy and sell chickens in the spring. They have baby chicks in the spring. But we found that if you hatch your chickens in the fall and overwinter them, people don't like to overwinter them. If you overwinter them though, then you have like laying hens in the spring and they make a lot more money. You can buy them for, a, you can make a lot more money selling laying hens versus baby chicks. I don't even know what's happening, but every single morning now I come down and they flip this. Does that look like a uh, uh, dirt bath spot? Maybe. What chicken is down here? So every single year before breeding season starts. I think they made the mistake with the pricing because uh, on, the, on the screen at the drive through it said $18 and something. And then I paid like $15 and something. Oh. So maybe she just said it wrong. But. Yeah, probably. So you spend $18 or $15 on coffee? Mm. Holy man, must be nice. Coffee, bagel, and two timbits. Because I didn't have the pet one. So we had two five. coffees and a bagel? Wow. Okay, so every year just prior to breeding season, I give my goats selenium. Selenium and vitamin E, and I do an inject, like I just inject them. Next time I'm gonna buy a paste, but I have this injectable, so I'm gonna use it up. I also give them some copper, and so we already did the copper. I'll show you what the copper looks like. So the copper looks like this. I shouldn't even be touching it with my dirty fingers, but it's actually, let's see. What are you doing? It's actually little tiny pieces of copper, metal, in there. I clean everything with an alcohol swab before I do anything, and I use a new needle for I'm every goat. So oh, that can make it like so <laughs> super expensive to treat your goats. These are the needles that I use. Wait, did I get a syringe? No. Anyways, these are the needles I use. They're a little tiny. I'm doing it sub-Q, which, which basically means subcutaneous. Some meds that we give to the chickens, we give it intramuscular IM. These ones are superficial. We just do it under the skin. And I swear, if you don't, if, you're, if your goats are low on selenium and vitamin E and also copper, actually copper is really good for, for uh, barber pole worms, which is which can be a problem, especially if it's been raining all summer. So I already did the copper, but if your heart, if your goats are low on all of these things, then it can affect fertility. It can make them reabsorb their babies if they get pregnant. It can make them not get pregnant. It can make them reabsorb their babies if they get pregnant. It can make them have one baby instead of like three babies. Um, uh, the dwarf goats tend to have like a lot more babies. Bigger goats tend to have two babies. Dwarf goats can have like two, three, four, five, six. Um, babies, but if their nutri nutrients aren't up to date, it can cause reabsorption and you get a lot of like single births. So that's definitely not something that we want. We don't want eight babies, but we don't want single births because single babies get all the nutrients inside and they get big and then it's harder to get them out. And because we have dwarf goats, we want to make sure that they have an easy way out. I lose my things a lot. So she has an apple air tag. So I have an air tag so I can always On her know keys. where it is. Unless I leave and I can track you. Then I don't know. I could track you. I don't need to track her. She's a good girl. You don't have an apple. I don't have an apple. I could track you on Dad's phone. I've been seeing where predators put apple air tags on people's cars, like under the hood or somewhere that they can't see it, and then They've track them. They've been doing that for a while. Really? Okay. Oh, well, that scary man aren't lady that, that's good luck yeah a really long time just not well, one just land on my face <gasps> you're gonna have good luck okay. i have a ladybug did you get the goats no <laughs> so we're sitting here like i got the goats we're sitting here we're sitting here ready to do the goats and there's no goats coming but if you are if your goat has just one single baby don't be alarmed it doesn't mean that its nutrients aren't good it doesn't mean that his nutritional status isn't good lots of time there are other things that affect how many goats your how many babies your goats will have like genetics plays a big part but in the case of if you're having like one baby oftentimes that's a young goat will have just one baby i found a whole new selection of needles like i said i only do this 
once a year for our goats and I know that our our soil is deficient in selenium. Oh, Gabby got the goats. How'd you get them? I shook the grain bucket. <laughs> is that your first time catching goats? Five. Yeah. You should have taken these two herding dogs with you. They could have herded them right in here. Oh, here she comes does not Blossom. Know what it means. Oh, like, get it. And she brings me like a stick. Come on, get up here. Yeah, you heard them, Molly. Two down. One, two more to go. Three more to go. Next victim, please. So we taught Gabby how to do the injections, and she's like Don't killing it. Here? Yep. Anywhere right in here. Like, that's a good spot. That's a ton. Okay, look. Here, you eat this. It's a nice tiny needle, so you shouldn't even feel it. Go, Ellie. Go, 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 Ellie. Nobody come near the goat. Look at Gabby. Gabby does it so good. I get like... She's a better nurse than me. She's a better nurse than me. Good job. She didn't even feel it. That one's harder. I had to push more. <laughs> We're done. Are we done? We're done. Oh, thank I God. Don't jab myself. Don't jab yourself. You're going to have selenium. What about the boys? Oh, yeah. Let's do the boys. Gabby has the calm gene. I love you doing it. Gabby, you're officially... Oh, is it done? Yeah. yeah. She is officially voted vaccine giver. You know what? You shouldn't have... Every year I give a CD and T vaccine as well. And I do that closer to birth, though. If any of you guys are wondering if our little buck that I bought that was insane when I got him, he has not changed. He's still a screamer. Good luck, Gabby. I'll hold his butt. Oh my gosh. Didn't even notice. You're so good. But well, you don't know that. He's just screaming the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't jerk his body. Anyway, just wait. I wanted you guys to look at him really quick. Look at how good he looks. He's like, got, he's looking so good. That wow, that thing is massive. I am sweating. It is hot in this barn. Come on, let's go. Uh, our vet was here in May and. Anytime, every time he comes, I always buy needles from him because then I know I can get the ones that I want. I like the little tiny ones for sub Q injections. But anyway, Gabby did fantastic. She's our new resident needle giver forever. She's so calm. Goats and sheep are really hard animals to have because there's no food that delivers all the nutrients that they need. So they always end up needing shots or or minerals, like we give our goats loose minerals, we give them a salt lick, we give them all the things that they need, but they still end up needing a shot, a couple of shots every year. Don't you know that you're